Ladies and gentlemen, representing all winners of the Children's Peace Prize, please a very, very warm welcome for Abraham Caton, winner of the International Children's Peace Prize in 2015. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it gives me an enormous joy to be back in this impressive Hall of Nights. Standing here in front of you now brings me back to a true changing point in my life. Here I was awarded the International Children's Peace Prize one year ago. I remember how extremely cold it was back then. <laughs> Thanks to the prize and supported by Case Rice, my family and local mentors, I was able to strengthen my battle to end violence against children. The prize has given me the confidence that my words matter, that my thoughts count, and that I should never be afraid to speak out and act for justice. The prize also ensures that my siblings and I can get educated. I will start my university studies soon. The international acknowledgement I receive has been truly immense. In 2016, I visited more places and met more people than ever before. I found true friendship and support in the case rights youngsters my fellow Children's Peace Prize winners. Being part of this unique group has taught me important life lessons. It most of all taught me what resilience really means, what it is to never give up whatever barriers you face, whatever resistance. We young people are change makers. We should stand for our beliefs and speak out. Every five minutes, a child is killed by violence. Conflict, abuse, and exploitation affect all children around the globe every single day. Today, I am happy to be here. I am also sad because as I speak, children in Syria are very far from living in peace. Aleppo is now a doomed place of atrocities. As I speak, Yemen is confronted by conflict. South Sudan is confronted with war, hunger, and famine. As I speak, the number of refugee children continues to escalate. The question is, how long will this continue? Beyond the comfort of your offices, are you prepared to build bridges to solve these problems? No violence against children is justifiable, and all violence against children is preventable. I look forward to the day when children all around the world will live and grow up without fear, and peace is spilled out on their faces. I want to contribute to the solution. With the case rights youngsters, I therefore demand global attention for the urgency to protect children. We have contributed to the policy on children of the International Criminal Court. International justice is more important now than ever. Violence against a child is a crime against humanity. Following the launch of the policy last month, together with case rights, we urged the Security Council to refer the Syrian situation to the court. Children's lives and futures are at stake. Also, I was very proud to address the Human Rights Council and share my story with world leaders, including UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. He publicly supported my message and applauded me for my efforts. Wow, I am just 18 years old. These international interventions did not make me forget my battle at home. 
I am a proud Liberian. Children and youth in my country are active. We were instrumental in eradicating Ebola. We will rebuild our country. We are powerful. We are change makers. We want our children to grow up in a peaceful and safe society where everyone has equal opportunities. After winning the prize, my friends and I registered our organization, the Giving Hope to Children Foundation. We organized community meetings to teach children about violence and the importance of justice and human rights. We spread our messages nationally through our radio show, Our Future, reaching thousands of Liberian youth every week. We ensure that children are part of the public and political debate. We cannot be stopped. One year after winning the prize, I can say with pride that many children in my country are hopeful that despite the challenges, change is possible. Last June, a 14-year-old boy walked up to me and said, I'm inspired that you are a boy, yet you speak out and stand up for girls. A boy selling water on the streets told me, I always see you on TV talking about our rights. Thank you for speaking for us, the powerless and voiceless. The International Children's Peace Prize has truly changed my life and it will change the lives of many more children in the years to come. Therefore, I warmly welcome this year's winner into the family of the Case Rice youngsters. Join us. Your message deserves to be heard. We will move the world together. Thank you, may God bless you. <laughs>